Hi, Jason here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve the quality of your articles and blog posts with ChatGPT by having it create tables. You'll see tables used an awful lot for doing comparisons. Um, if we just take a quick look over here uh, on Google, I just typed in like fruit comparison table. You can see them all here. This is the kind of thing that I'm talking about. This is really good to be putting in the middle of a blog post to help people understand the information really quickly and visually. So how do we do it with ChatGPT? Well, I'm gonna just show you right now. So first of all, um, let's ask Ask it to create a list of five good healthy fruits. Create a list of five of the most healthiest fruits. And there we go. So it will get on and do that for us now. Blueberries, acai berries, pomegranates, kiwi and papaya. There you go. You learn something every day. So the next thing I want to do is to get it to create a table with a list of the vitamins that might be contained in each of those so that we can see which one's high and which one's low. Create a table with those fruits detailing the vitamins contained in each. Now let's see what it will do. So fruit, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin E, and vitamin B. Those are the vitamins it's chosen. Now, obviously, I'm showing you this really, really quick, but you can ask it to do, you know, how much it's got in there. You can add on more vitamins if you wanted to. So if you were writing an article, which you can also get chat GPT to do, and I've got another video on that if you want to just look at my channel, you could easily then, you know, create a brilliant article about the, the five most healthiest fruits and take this chart and then just quickly put it into your blog post. Now, if you're using WordPress or something like that, you should be able to embed code. So how do we get it to do that? Well, this is going to be, you know, magic. This is where we can get to use another part of ChatGPT to create the code for us. Can you create HTML code for that table so that I can embed it into my website. And there we are, even though it didn't uh, take down my instructions very well because it put websit, it still understands what I'm talking about. And now it's just going to go ahead and create that code that we can then use to drop straight into our blog post. So I'm using Fast Funnels, of course, because that's my uh, company, but here is my blog post right now. And what I'll do, and you will probably have this on whatever platform that you're using, you'll have a widget where you can embed code. And that's what we're going to need. We're just going to be able to drop that code over, grab the code from here once it's finished generating, which shouldn't take a second because it's only five fruits. There it goes. It's nearly finished. So you don't even need to be a coder now with ChatGPT to get this stuff done. I mean, look at it. It's just creating it in seconds for you. And to be honest, I've seen it do it even fast, faster than that, but it's quite busy right now. So I'm just going to click copy code and it just says there copied. I'm going to go to my blog and I'm going to just grab this and drop the code import there, paste in the code that it's given me and then just click um, update. Now I can go and have a little look at that. And it probably doesn't look too pretty the way that I've done it straight away. There it goes like that. See, so it doesn't look that great, but at least the data is in there. So the next thing we should really do is ask chat GPT to go and create us some code to style it. So what do we use for that? We use CSS and, you know, I know a little bit of CSS, but certainly not enough to, you know, start transforming the look of that table into something decent. So what I'll do is ask it to create some CSS to make it look good. Can you create some CSS code to style that table to make it look very clear and readable? There we go. So now it's going to just get busy and create some fancy code that we can then paste into our site again to style that particular table. And so you see there that it's created a background color and it's got F2, F2, F2. Those are color codes and you can easily change those codes, they're hex codes to whatever colors you might want for your particular brand. Uh, a good way of finding out the color um, that you would like very, very quickly is just to go to your site. So let's just say I'm here now on my site. There's a little color dropper 
um, tool, an extension that you can get for Chrome. And you literally can just pick a color on the page. You can see as I move around here, I'm going to hold it over this orange. I can just click on it and it's now copied that color code to the uh, board. And then I can paste that code in here instead of using the color code that they've given me. So anyway, let's see what they've done. So I'm going to copy that code and I'm now going to go to my website here and I'm just going to put that CSS code in. Well, I can do that in Fast Funnels real easy by just going to custom code and then custom CSS. And I'm just going to paste it in like that and then just click save. And now when we go and take a little look at that table, it should hopefully look a little better and a little different. And there it is. Look at that. That looks fantastic. So, and I can uh, change the color of these tables if I want to, just like I showed you by going into that code and then changing it. So I'm just to give you an example, I'm just going to take that code again, that color code, and I'm going to go and adjust my CSS that it gave me. And I'm just going to paste that in. So let's have a look. It's saying the background color for the table headings is this F2, F2, which is kind of a gray. So I'm going to switch it for orange and then just click save. Now let's go and take a little look and see what it's done for us. There you go. Look at that. It's just becoming clearer and clearer. And then I could also ask it to bold the headings if I wanted to uh, on here and give me the, you know, the code for that. And you don't need to be a coder, but you can just add in these fantastic looking tables into your blog posts and articles to give you uh, better content. You know, Google will love this kind of content. Real readers will love this because it's very clear and easy for them to read. So that's it. I really hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please do like and subscribe. It just gives me uh, an opportunity to make more content for you guys. And if you wanted to try out Fast Funnels, you can do so for free. It is a great platform for you know creating blogs, funnels, websites, you name it. Um, try it out underneath for free for 14 days and let me know what you think. And if you want to know anything uh, about this video, you need any more help, and feel free to just drop a comment underneath the video. And thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate you.